Welcome back to Augusta National as we kick off Masters Week right here on TSN. Well, world number one, Dustin Johnson, certainly did not have the Masters he wanted in 2017 with that little step, that little slip, excuse me, on the step at the home he rented. This week, he's looking to be right there come the end on Sunday, looking at his first ever Masters victory to his resume. Here's Bob Weeks with more. Coming into last year's Masters, there was no one in the world playing better golf than Dustin Johnson. In his last three starts prior to driving down Magnolia Lane, he'd won three times, including back-to-back -back victories in World Golf Championship events. Dustin Johnson wins again. In his seven tournaments that season, he was 59 under par and had gone through the match play championship undefeated. Really impressive to be doing that. Whatever he's doing, he just needs to keep doing. He just makes it look easy. With a tie for sixth and a tie for fourth in his previous two Masters, he was such an overwhelming favorite to win in Augusta. The rumors were the staff already had his 44 tall green jacket picked out. I feel like I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm playing really well. The number one golfer had an accident. I cannot imagine a more dramatic, startling development but while the rest of the world's best golfers didn't seem capable of stopping Johnson, a slippery step did. As he went out in the rainstorm to grab his son from an arriving car, he fell and injured his back so severely, he at first thought it was broken. Right now, it's an open question as to whether he will compete. He was about 80% being able to take the club through, but at impact, he couldn't do a thing. Despite a last minute attempt to play, Johnson withdrew dashing any hopes of a second major title. This is one of my favorite tournaments of the year. I feel like I'm playing the best golf of my career right now. To pull out is, I mean, it, it sucks. Now, a year later, Johnson is back. His game is once again red hot with a win in two seconds in five starts. He leads the tour in Eagles per hole. Birdie average, scoring average, strokes gained off the tee, and strokes gained total. And, of course, he's the number one ranked golfer in the world. I like the golf game is starting to come around. And perhaps most importantly, he believes he has some unfinished business on a course that he loves. The only thing he wants to slip on this year is a green jacket. 